Hi, so I'm the Gourmet Quilter and I've got some quilting tips and things for you today. I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with some leftover two and a half inch strips and squares. We're making a lot of projects these days with two and a half inch strips and quite often we've got short lengths left or we might have some longer lengths. We might have enough to get squares out of. So I've gone ahead, I've cut some of my slightly longer pieces into some lengths that are six and a half inches long. So they're two and a half inch wide strips. These are six and a half inch long. So I've gone ahead and cut some. I've got a whole pile of squares that are left over. And again, you can cut them into the two and a half inch squares and they become amazingly useful. Rather than a bag of just sort of loose ends, we need to bring them into something really delicious. So I've gone ahead and just worked out a very simple block. This is for like a scrappy kind of quilt. So that we're just using two strips that are six and a half long and three squares down the center and they can be rotated you could make them all sorts of colors you might have a real liking for working in blues so you've got lots of scraps in blues so you might make a randomly pieced blue quilt or you might like a whole mixture you might like only yellow really it's possible so there's lots of different ways of doing things or I've just mixed mine all around. I've got a whole lot of different colours and made it very scrappy. You might have lights, you might have darks. I'm going to let you decide. You may want to alternate something. You might want to make things a little bit more specific. But mostly it was intended to be for scraps and leftovers. So I've gone ahead. I've got a block ready to go here. I've got two light strips and, two, and three squares to go in the centre. So I'm actually going to put the darker one in the middle. So I'm just going to sew those quarter inch seam allowance, you know the deal. I'll sew them together and press them, we'll make this block. It's quick and easy, it's great fun. You'd have a quilt made very quickly out of a, a likely pile of leftovers that weren't really doing anything particularly useful. I love leftovers. Okay, so I've done one seam. I'm going to pop the other one on the other side because I want that darker one as my middle. And I'm going to bring the iron over and press those. So I'm actually going to press those seams just one way. And I'd like to press from the front. I'm just going to flip that across and across. And because they're two and a half inch squares and we're using a quarter inch seam allowance, we should find that we have actually got a piece that's the same length as our strips. And it's looking pretty good. So now I'm just going to sew a strip either side. So as you can see, there's nothing complicated about this. It can look really fun. And I think the idea of a single colour, like a whole variety of blues or something, would be particularly delicious if you didn't want to use a whole mixture of colours. you might have two colorways that you like so mix the two it just goes on and on the endless possibilities of leftovers so this is a really um, as you can see a very quick block to make would be a great run on run off quilt If you had a whole pile ready and when you do the next project you just do one of these at the start and finish of some other sewing it would get a, a second project well underway whilst you're making your primary project we like secondary projects and primary projects okay same thing i'm pressing from the right side those seams go down and it's best to press those seams both into the strips because the seams here make it slightly more bulky so you want to do it that way. So we have now made very quickly a six inch block or six and a half it measures. Um, so it'll be six inch when it's sewn into something. So I've now made two of those and I'm obviously liking the greens, but I've made a few more and I've done a whole random color placement here so that you can see that some have got light strips, some are just sort of all really orange colors here, some are more green. We've got lights, darks, brights, not so bright, pretty much anything you can think of. And I personally think that that's kind of a fun quilt just as it is. Uh, just turning, so all I've done is t turn the blocks altern alternately. So one's going that way and this one's going this way. And it just all mixes around together. So that was just another quick idea for using up some of those two and a half inch strips and squares leftovers. Thank you.